Creator of every good and perfect thing. Lord of Lord and King of Kings. We come now as an empty glass before a full fountain of your grace. And then uh, we come no not for shape, form, or fashion, but because you said in your word that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. And then, Master, we come confessing right now that you've been good to us. Oh, God, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And uh, just on that night, dear master, as we lay down to this old dying world, uh, there were these murders all around our home. Yeah. But uh, you put your angel around our bedside all night long. Yeah. But it early this morning, my yeah. heavenly father shook me out of my sleep to a brand new day. Yeah. Oh, dear Master, it was a day that I've never seen before and a day I'll never see again. And Father God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will bless the angel of at this house. Yeah. Oh, dear Master, we ask in the name of Jesus that you lay down in the deep treasure of thy word. Yeah. Father God, not only him, dear master, we ask now that you bless his companion and family also. Yeah. Father God, we yeah. ask right now in the name of Jesus that you bless his uh, church family yeah. all dirty this morning. Yeah. But dear master, we all know that you won't stop there, but you bless every church that's standing on the sure foundation. Yeah. Father God, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will pull my one and thought together that men might seek Christ and not me. Father God, I don't know, but you know all things because you are God and God all by yourself. Father God, give me a word to tell your people that someone might come screaming down the aisle, what must I do to be saved? Now, Lord. This afternoon, my Heavenly Father, we ask that you stop by for just a little while. Oh, yeah. Father God, if you stop by, I'll be able to preach your uncompromising word. Yeah. If you stop by, you'll be able to lift yeah. up a bow down head. Yeah. And in the master, we pray right now that you give us a receptive heart and ears so that we might hear what thus say the Lord be grateful to give you the praise and the glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're grateful once again to the Lord Jesus for all that he is doing. And, and, uh, is a missionary? What, what is he doing? What's the name of missionary? Amen. I don't want to leave her. Amen. 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 Oh, we're, we're just grateful to Great Mount Zion Church. We're elated to be over here with our friend and our brother Man. and our sister Man. church, amen, yeah. on this celebration day. So we're going to try to give you what God has given us, and we can all go home, amen, and eat some neck bones or something. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. All right, amen. But there is a word from the Lord. Man. The book of Matthew. Look at the ninth chapter the ninth chapter, 35th verse. I read it. Verse 35, if you will. And it says, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted 
In other words, they were harassed. And were scattered abroad as shepherds having no sheep. Amen. As sheep having no shepherds. Excuse me. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenty, but the laborers are few. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Usher. You may be seated on this church anniversary day. Amen. Pastor, we come to encourage you in the church. Amen. The harvest truly is plenty, but the laborers are few. All right. We want to commission the church. Amen. Uh, today. Amen. Church, it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. Uh, those of you, amen, uh, that, that visit YouTube and might see some of my sermon, I want to uh, straighten something out. I said something in the spirit, and it wasn't entirely true because I was thinking about somebody else. If you watch the latest YouTube, I have a sermon on there called uh, Time Ain't Long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in that, I uh, was talking about Isaiah when he told Isaiah to go out and tell him to get his house in order. I said it wasn't the son of Amon because I was thinking about the, the father of Jeremiah, which is Hilkiah. Right. So if you see that, amen, uh, uh, charge it uh, uh, to the head. Sometimes I forget, but that was the same Isaiah as the uh, uh, son of Amon. So don't think I don't know what I'm talking about. When I make a mistake, I, I will correct it. Amen. All right, now, church, it's time to go to work. Listen, we as Christians should not come to church just to sit down. Uh, some of us come to church every Sunday. We come to church, amen, every Wednesday night. Uh, we even come some Saturday. Yeah. And all we do is sit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me tell you a couple of reasons uh, uh, you shouldn't come to church. First of all, you shouldn't come to church to start mess. Yeah. I wish I was uh, in the house tonight. Uh, you should not come to church to meet your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Because the Bible said my house is a house of prayer. Amen. You ain't got no business to meet your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Now, what's wrong for you? Yes, we ain't got no business to come into church, amen, to meet our sweetheart that's sitting next to some of our wives. I wish I, I wish the Holy Ghost was in here right about now. Uh -huh. But it's time to go to work. We can do everything else. Amen. We clean up our house, all our house is spotless. We cut the grass, we wash dishes and yeah. we clean up and then we go to God's house. Yeah. 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 You find a program from three months ago on the floor. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The grass this high. Yeah. Look like vacant churches around here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The windows are dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Church, it's time to go to work. Yeah. 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 I want the place where I fellowship and worship at to look just as good as where I lay my head yeah. at yeah. night. But we, some of us, come to church and we walk by gums on the seat. That's all we do is play and we put gum on the seat. We tie up good seat. Amen. I'm talking to somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. And we play and we put gum all behind the seat. Yeah. And then we leave it in the same condition. But I want you to know today that it's time to go to work. The Bible say, uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10 said, Even so, when we were with you, as we commanded you, that a man that do not work, neither sell, he eat. Yeah. Huh? Right. And we're just talking to the men yeah. now. Amen. If you're doing nothing in the church, amen, you got no reason to set your plate out. Yeah. All right, with us here? Yeah. Amen. But all of us have a place in the house of worship. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't sing, you can pick up a boom. Yeah. Amen. Now, yeah. now, if you can't usher, amen, you can pick up a towel and clean the windows. Yeah. Amen. If you can't deacon, amen, you ought to be able to uh, put somebody on lawn mow. Yeah. This house, yeah. the Lord's house, yeah. should be beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and, 
and then the third chapter in the book of Acts, they said the, 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 the gate that they said called beautiful. It was a beautiful sanctuary. Yes, Amen. You go to some of these other churches, you don't see no paper on the grass. No. You know, the grass is all tight. Yes, well, why shouldn't it be tight right here? Yes, Amen. Yes, the same spirit that dwells over there, dwells over here. Yes, I wish I had a witness here. Yes, it's time to go to work. To go to work. Yes, amen. You should not come to church, amen, to see everybody else struggle trying to do something you can help out with. Yes, we got the same folk, yeah. amen, we got the same folk, Sister Edwards, Sister Phil, doing the same thing all the time, and other folk, they look and complain. Yeah. Yeah. The same person, amen, said a welcome every time we have it. Yeah. Yeah. The same one say to respond yeah. every time when we go to visit somewhere. Yeah. You know, same one that's not doing anything, well, child, she didn't say that right. Yeah. Well, amen, you had a chance. Yeah. Uh -huh. You had a chance to get up and say to respond. Yeah. You had a chance to get up and say the welcome. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's time out for the same folk doing oh, yeah. all yeah. the work. Yeah. When there's more than one body in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to help you now. Yeah. It's time yeah. to, go to, to go to work. And if you don't want to go to work, amen, God will send somebody to work for you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. If, if you keep in the books, and the, the pastor cannot depend on you to keep your books, there will be another secretary coming here. Yes, sir. And ain't no sense yeah. you getting a, amen, ain't no sense you getting a boot in the mouth about it because you ought to do your job. Yes, sir. Amen. If you don't do your job, you can be replaced. Yeah, yeah. I dare you not to do your job on your everyday job. Yeah. When you go to work every day, I dare you not to do your job. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. If you don't do your job, I promise you, you will be down on Dowdale Street. Yes, sir. I wish I had a witness here. And so, amen, the Bible teaches us that we should work. Yes, sir. In the book of Nehemiah, the fourth chapter, verse six says, so build we the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And all the wall were joined together unto the hand thereof. Yeah. Yeah. But the people had a mind yeah. to work. Yes, sir. So my brother and sister, if they had a mind to work, we should also have a mind to work. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The pastor should not be all tied out from trying to do everything in the church. Yeah. Yeah. The pastor should not, amen, be the only one to go to visit the sick and the set in. We can give the deacon's authority to go out and give the Lord something. I wish I had some help in the house. Amen. You can go out on our authority and visit the sick and the shed in. Yeah, yeah. You can go to the jailhouse and visit those behind closed walls. Okay, yeah. And you can go to the hospital and those, visit those that are lame and can't walk. Yeah. So the pastor, amen, should be there for the work of the ministry preparing for something for you to eat. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And I'm talking about the word of God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When it's time to eat physical food, everybody want to play. Yeah. When it's time, amen, to eat that physical food, we run over on one another. Yeah. When it's time to eat that physical food, we the first one, y'all ain't saying that, yeah. in line. Yeah. But when it's time to have that spiritual food, yeah. we turn a deaf ear and we begin to play with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we begin to play writing notes to one another. Yeah. Amen. Boyfriend and girlfriend sitting next to each other, leaning on each other's shoulder. Yeah. But amen, if you're going to lean on somebody's shoulder, you ought to lean on the everlasting arm of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a witness yeah. today. Yeah. I need you to understand that it's time to go to work. Yeah. And when you go to work, yeah. and when your working day down here is over, uh, yeah. you can hear that voice, that good voice said, that good. That's faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many. When we come to our text, we find here that Jesus, amen, had been preaching and teaching. Jesus, you will always find Jesus being about his father's business. Huh? Amen. 
I never heard God told Jesus to do something and Jesus said, I'm too tired. That's right, that's right. I never heard God told him, amen, to go down there and feed my folk. And he said, well, let me get just a little rest. So if Jesus is going to be about his father business, then we shall be about our father business. Yeah, yeah. Many times we find Jesus leaving one town, going to the next. Because he out healed and did all kind of uh, 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 healing and amen, uh, uh, healing the sick, raising the dead, oftentimes so he go on to the next city. We as laborers, amen, and children of God, we are not have a problem trying to go out in the highway, in the hedges, and compel me and women, boys and girls, to come to Jesus. Father, the song that said, amen, whosoever will, let him come. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I need you to understand that it's not about coming to these four walls every Sunday. Yeah. Amen. But it's about that wild out yonder. Yeah. 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 You got drunk out yonder. Hey. You got dope pushers yes, out yonder. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You got prostitutes Man. out yonder yeah. Yeah. that need the word of God. Yeah. 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 And we need some children of God to go out and tell them that our Redeemer leave. Yeah, yeah. So when we get to our text, we find here that Jesus had told Matthew to follow me. Yeah, yeah. And not only was Matthew following him, he, Jesus had healed, amen, Jairus' daughter. Yeah, yeah. Jairus' daughter was sick, and he had enough sense to come to Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Now we got a witness here. Yeah, and not only did he do that, he restored a blind man's sight. Yeah. Some of us are blind now with our eyes wide open. Yes, Amen. We are spiritually blind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we can't see the blessing that stands before us. Have I got a witness here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my brother and my sister, yes, when we look at our text, Jesus had been about every city and village, teaching in the synagogue, yes, preaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And you need to understand that he was healing every sickness and every disease among all people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But when he saw the multitude, the Bible said he was moved Move. with compassion. Yeah, all right. The Bible did not say he talked about them. Uh -huh. Amen. The Bible did not say he turned and looked the other way. That's right. That's right. But the Bible said that he had compassion on them. on them. And because they was harassed, they were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Yeah, yeah. And that's a funny thing about a sheep. A sheep is an obedient animal. Yeah, yeah. They are looking to be led. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You never I never heard a sheep say but. But a sheep said bye. Yeah. But amen. So they let me know that the sheep Amen. Want to be led. Amen. And not lead somebody. So the Bible says that they were scattered like sheep having no shepherd. And so Jesus had compassion and he told the disciples that the harvest truly is plenty. But the laborers are few. Everybody in the church want to get paid. Nobody want to work for the sake of kingdom building. Amen. You got musician. Amen. And I ain't got nothing against musician. But you got some musician, they'll tell you how much you need to pay. Uh -huh. Amen. And they will tell you, my brother and my sister. They will tell you that not only do they need an anniversary, but they need a pre anniversary. Amen, and all they want to do, amen, is come and hit those couple of notes and why the preacher is preaching. And then they'll go sit down or go outside and take a smoke break. Oh, I wish I had a witness. And if you got a secretary, amen, it's not in all churches, but in some churches, they want to be on the payroll. Amen. They'll come tell you, Pastor, that's a lot of work that I'm doing. But you need to understand that, amen, the pastor can't give you no reward. Yeah. But uh, anytime you do 
doing something for the Lord, your reward is on high. Get a little witness. What the Bible says, only what you do for Christ will last. But uh, any time you're doing things for men, now uh, is only a temporary. Yeah, ain't God all right? Yeah, if you go by and paint a man house, it's only a temporary. Yeah, y'all don't hear me. If you come by and mow my lawn, it's only a temporary. Yeah, if you uh, stop by my house and watch our car, it's only a temporary. Yeah, y'all don't hear me, but if you uh, uh, go out and draw somebody in the cry, they go on your record book. Yeah, ain't God all right? And when uh, you go out and it's on the record book, the Bible say uh, you can get your starry crown. Yeah, y'all don't hear me. I stopped by today to tell somebody that it's time to work. Yeah, ain't God all right? If you are a preacher fighter, you need to stop fighting, and it's time to go to work. Yeah, ain't God all right? If you never... the Bible, you better pick it up, because time ain't long, am I right about it, every now and then, when trouble comes my way, I have to fall out, down on my knees,